Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I am going to explain you about EBS. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with EBS content. So today we will discuss about how to create EBS account, what's the basic concept of EBS, then how you can use it in real life or we can say that the benefit of that. So let's start with Amazon Elastic Block Store or EBS is an easy to use high performance block storage services designed to use with Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud that is EC2. We have already created one session on EC2. So if you have created one EC2 account over there, you can increase the volume for your storage purpose. Or this is a virtual space which is available for your requirement just like if you are in need of extra space or additional space inside your AWS account that time you can use it so while creating EBS a broad range of workloads such as relation and non relation database enterprise application Containerized application, big data analytics engine, file system, and media workflows are widely deployed on Amazon EBS. We can choose from four different volume types to balance optimal price and performance. We can also achieve single digit millisecond latency of high performance database workloads such as SAP, HANA, or Gigabyte per second throughout for large sequential workloads such as Hadoop. So, this is a virtual space or virtual server in a cloud however EBS is a virtual space in a cloud so Amazon EBS allows us to create storage volumes and attach them to the EC2 instance we can change volume types tune performance or increase volume size without disrupting or without distributing our critical application so we can have cost effective storage as and when required. Amazon EBS provides two types of volume that differs in performance characteristics and price. EBS are defined in two categories. One is SSD backed volumes and second is HDD backed volume. So let's create one EBS here and at the end of session I will explain you their benefit of this. So for creating EBS EBS we have to select our EC2 instance inside the EC2 instance we can directly add it so let me create one EC2 instance which is I've already created in my previous session so for free tier eligibility I am creating general purpose and review and launch T2 micro instance so let's go to previous because we have not customized here other services configure instance so in configure instance or choose instance type so instance type i have selected here configure instance data so as you can see here i am not changing anything here because i have already covered uh, in my previous session so add storage is the main uh, uh, component which we can add it so while adding a new volume will directly pick a ebs account so you can create it for the developer or stb and based on your requirement you can keep the size here so if i will add another volume it will it will add up here so I will change the naming specification according to our requirement. If I want to keep one EBS for developer, one for the UAT team, uh, other for the QA team, that is also well and good. So for creating this, we need to add how much volume required according to our requirement. If I want to increase the space as 8 to 16, definitely I will go ahead and increase the number. I'm keeping here as a 8 as a default value. There is a second part as well. So GP2 and I1 that is input output 1 and HDD throughput optimized that is HDD ST1. You can also take an magnetic standard as well. So by this way we can 
add additional value or additional space according to your this is a virtual space which we can use for the data uh, database storage or other components like just like if you are having a heavy relational database that time is also important to add the additional spaces so after adding this uh, we can also select the encryption method if we want to encrypt KMS key aliases or uh, mm, this uh, several other e EBS then by default I am selecting here and once I will click on the next to add component it will again jump for the EC2 instance configuration part so for creating or adding any uh, additional EBS is the uh, main component on the add storage let me remove this here and create one EC2 instance and then add up a volume so review and launch I'm not clicking on anything here download a keep here Now we have downloaded the key pair launch an instance. So once we launch the instance, it will be available for our required component. Let's go to the EC2. So as you can see here, there is one volume is present uh, because we have launched one EC2. One volume is present here. We can add additional volume as per our requirement so once we'll click on the uh, add or create volume we can get two options one for the ssd and other for the throughput optimized hdd so basically this will be required for increasing the performance of an application or server which we are using according to our requirement so by this way we can configure the detail and once we'll click on the create volume the additional volume is added inside our ec2 account because i am using a um, trial version of aws because of that i'm not adding anything here but you can add up into your ec2 instance according to when and whenever is required for your services so this is all about how to create an EBS, EBS volume with SSD and SDD. Let's recap the content we have started with EBS and their basic concept of that. Then we have created one EC2 instance inside the EC2 instance. We have configured EBS volume. At the end, I have removed while creating EC2 instance, uh, EBS volume is removed but finally once the ec2 instance is created i have added one more volume um, after the finalization of ec so that the user can add up any time whenever is required by clicking on just on the volume page so let's catch up the content of benefit of the ec2 so definitely it will be going to increase the performance of any workload it's easy to use highly available and durable virtually unlimited scale secure and cost effective so these are five benefits we can get it from ebs this is the major benefit there are several other attached benefits also available you can refer it from uh, online or from any portal so this is all about how to create a e ebs account or ebs volume inside our ec2 instance hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video Consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.